Patrick George from Inside EVs made a really interesting comment. He said, there's one automaker that stands in stark contrast to all the doom filled headlines about terrible electric car sales in 23, in 2023, which by the way, actually have risen by more than 20%. That is Korea's Hyundai Motor Group. So Hyundai and Kia. Last year saw record EV sales from almost every brand that could be bothered to make them. It also saw questions over demand and issues with software and charging. However, the truth is, Hyundai and Kia's approach, at least Hyundai's anyway, to building really good EVs at competitive prices is paying off. It is most certainly working and their mindset to say, you know what, sure, we're making losses today, but we won't be tomorrow is the right way to look at things. Yesterday, Honda's CEO said this, they cannot possibly make an affordable electric car, even at a price of $30,000, unless they have a magical solid state battery technological breakthrough. Companies like Hyundai and Tesla are saying the complete opposite. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. A new report out from Bloomberg NEF says that based on preliminary sales data, Hyundai and Kia together made up more than 8% of all EVs sold in America. This means that the group sold more EVs than General Motors and Ford. However, that's really amazing considering the fact that they don't qualify for EV incentives. They didn't in 2022. They didn't make EVs in America in 2022. And somehow they'll have to send them all the way from South Korea or wherever they made them to North America, not qualify for incentives and still outsell Ford and General Motors who did qualify for incentives and who actually made EVs in either Mexico or the United States. Now imagine when Hyundai and Kia are manufacturing, when they are mass manufacturing EVs in the US, they'll be able to crush their competition if they continue to have this positive mindset. This is proof that their approach to electric cars is working. It's also proof that the gambles they've had to make in terms of investing in the technology, investing in 350 kilowatt charging, in 800 volt charge, in 800 volt EV architectures, it's working, it will eventually pay off. Hyundai's EVs stand out thanks to their impressive charging power and efficiency, said Bloomberg NEF EV analyst, Corey Cantor. The Ionic 5 can utilize 350 kilowatt chargers. The Ionic 6 is one of the most efficient EV sedans currently on the market. The EV9, the new Kia EV9 is selling incredibly well as well. It's only just begun sales in November and December, and it sold more than a thousand units on its first month in sale. Now, where are all these sales coming from? A huge percentage of the group's sales are coming from a little kind of trick, right? So a lot of customers are walking into a Hyundai or a Kia dealership and they're saying, I want to buy an EV and Hyundai say, well, how about you lease one? Because if you lease it, you get a $7,500 reduction in your overall price. It will then qualify for EV incentives. It's the only way to get them to qualify. So in November, 44% of all EVs sold by the group were actually leased. Interesting strategy here, very smart. Now, when it comes to the market, they're trying to cover off all the different segments. For example, the Kia EV9, that is a seven seat electric SUV. And it's more like a Toyota Land Cruiser. It's in a market all to itself. The Ionic 5 is also in a market all to itself. It's like a large hatchback, which also looks really good. So I think the group are having a positive impact worldwide. Their EV sales will continue to grow because their mindset is positive. They are saying a lot of weird things about hydrogen lately, but I think that that could be to appease the South Korean government who have invested billions of dollars into the technology and continue to give the group money in order for them to just make hydrogen stuff. Anyway, in spite of the hydrogen distraction, the group are actually doing extremely well. Thanks for watching.